Okay, 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 listen, 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 ladies, ladies, class, 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 class is in session. Okay, listen, I've got an instruction for all of you. I need you to all get into the lingerie that you're going to be wearing for your men tonight, okay? I need it to be absolutely drop dead gorgeous because when you walk into that room tonight, I need that man to be so hot and steamy that everything just goes ping. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange and this is How I Do Things, the show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice, use it, don't use it. It could just be a story for you or it could be a great idea, that light bulb moment that you need for a situation that you may be dealing with, but there's no pressure for you to use it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, <laughs> the other day I was watching Insecure. And there was an episode where um, Molly went away with her man and she had been hyping up that, oh, this weekend on holiday is going to go down. Oh, it's going to be nice. So she hyped it all up and said that she bought some really nice goodies along for the trip, right? Then she reaches into her bag, showing her man what she brought. She whips out a lace bra and a lace pair of panties. And the man's still there looking all excited, waiting to see what it is that she brought and that was it. I feel like some of us are disappointing each other here. This whole situation of panties and bras and lingerie is a very serious situation. I feel like some of us think that we have lingerie but we really don't. All we have is just basic panties and bras. We're hyping it up for our men saying, oh tonight baby I'm gonna look good for you and then you're there and all you're wearing is just a lace panty and a bra. Very basic one, nothing special with it. And our men are probably looking, thinking to themselves, I was expecting more, but let's ride the wave. We are letting ourselves down. We are letting ourselves down by not knowing where we draw the line between pinty and bra and lingerie. Listen, there's a whole lot of questions that we receive about how can I spice things up in the bedroom? And this is definitely one of those things. The thing about lingerie is that it's not just about you, it's not just about your man. It is about the whole situation and how you set it up. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you the difference between panties and lingerie. The difference between underwear and lingerie and how you can start to build your own lingerie connection that is basically every single time you put something on, the situation is just now, if you have any questions that you want to send to me, head over to my Instagram at Kopana Shimange. Go to my Insta story highlights and look for this picture right here. Reply and let me know what scenario you want me to talk about in our next video. It can be about relationships, dating, marriage, looking at a guy that is a crush, style, whatever it is that has to be about us as women, as moms, as bosses, and as entrepreneurs. Anything about that shmoney, honey, we got you here on how I do things. But let's not waste any more time let's get into this issue of panties and lingerie how do we tell the difference and how do we make sure that this is one of our weapons that when we get in there into the bedroom things are just gonna go down exactly how we want them to now there are basically three things that you need to look out for to tell the difference between underwear and lingerie now while the both of them are worn underneath clothing you have no clue if i am in lingerie right now or if i'm in basic panties and that's the thing about underwear and lingerie they seem like they serve the same purpose but it actually is a difference there is a difference between the two so the first thing that you need to look out for is function versus fun Underwear has function. Everything about it is about support and it's about covering. It is about supporting the sisters and the bottom is about covering and comfort as well. Sometimes the bottom may not be comfortable but it still serves the same purpose of covering the little girl underneath, lining her so that she is protected. And that's the first thing that you look for when it comes to underwear. It is functional. But when it comes to lingerie, ain't nothing functional about those sisters. It's about fun. Sometimes it makes no sense. You'll be asking yourself, what's this strap for? It's for fun. Does it have a purpose? No, no purpose. It's just for fun. Why fun? 
Number two is that one is meant to be seen while the other is meant to be a secret. When it comes to underwear, it is something that you wear under your clothing to support you and as a function and it is meant to be kept a secret. It is between you and your man if he sees it later. But when it comes to lingerie, it is meant to be seen and seen by the right person. That is why sometimes you can wear a bralette with a suit. When you ever see those people, you're just like, which bra do you wear outside for people to see? That is basically the difference. So if you look at a piece of underwear and you think to yourself, this is just too beautiful to keep a secret. It definitely needs to be seen. That right there is lingerie. So yes, there may be pieces that can be functional, but when you look at it, you're just like, it's bedazzled, it's got lace. Oh, definitely tick the lingerie box. And number three, is it supposed to support or is it supposed to seduce? Some underwear is just about support and nothing else. It doesn't look pretty, it is just basic, and it is there for a purpose. Every little bra strap, every little pin, every little stitch is there for a function that it is used for. So it's just there to support your little girl and your sisters up here. While lingerie, on the other hand, is all about seduction. It doesn't have to make sense at all. If you look at a piece of bra, panties, bodysuits, whatever it may be, and you think to yourself, this could possibly turn them on. This, this turns me on myself and it's on my body. That, that is lingerie. So once you now understand the difference between underwear and lingerie, there's basically about five things that you need to look out for if you are going to go buy something that is going to turn your man on and bring pedals to the party. So these five things will help you to search for the right lingerie and it will also help you to feel good when you're in it. It serves one purpose and one purpose only and that is to turn up the heat in the bedroom. So I went out and looked for five different types of lingerie that you can get at La Senza and at Bras and Things, my two favorite places. They know what a girl is looking for. So with my picture phone right here, I'll show you a few examples and what you can go look for when you're buying your lingerie. Number one is the bodysuit. I love me some bodysuits. It is my go-to a bodysuit, right? Look, when it comes to lingerie, it is not about your figure. It is not about your shape. It is not not about the size that you are it is about whatever works for you remember you don't have to worry about support when it comes to lingerie it is about seduction over everything if you're thinking to yourself where am i going to wear this thing you're going to wear it to the bedroom that's all that matters as long as it comes to the bedroom and as long as he learns how to take it off or keep it on if it's got a hole at the bottom then you can definitely use it so these bodysuits are more about the seduction of it it's more about all the extras that it has. Bodysuits are more affordable than buying your two pieces and they're so fun as well. So no matter what your body shape and no matter what your size, look for a bodysuit that works really well for you because they do complement the sisters and the bumps at the back and it makes you feel absolutely amazing. Number two is that you want to look for something that's got extras. Extra what? extra laces, extra straps, just things that you look at this thing and say, this definitely serves no function. There are 200 different straps on this thing. For what? It must be for fun. If you look at something, you think to yourself, that's more straps than I actually need. That's probably lingerie. It does make it a little fun. I've seen a piece of lingerie where every little piece has to be undone for it to come off, which makes the foreplay element of things really fun. The point of it is to invest in the fun that you and your man are going to have. This falls into the foreplay side of things. So don't be afraid to get something that's got the extras. Put pom-poms on it. Have some extra straps. Have any extra that you feel as though just spicing it up just a little bit makes it really good. Some of you, the last time you wore a garter was at your wedding. That little white thing that your man pulls off and then he throws for all the bachelors. That's the last time you wore it. But that's not just for that. It's for the bedroom as well. So get extras, extra straps, extra garters, extra laces, extra stockings, whatever it may be that you can put extra of. It just heightens the excitement and makes the outfit more sexy. Number three is about peekaboo. Peekaboo what? Peekaboo bums, peekaboo boobs, 
peekaboo below I'm talking about that piece of underwear that exposes all the right areas. Now it can expose up here, it can expose down there, or it can expose at the back. It's all about that piece of underwear that makes you think. It's something that's interesting. And this is for people of a certain personality. You may be a bit more fun or a bit more daring. So this would work for you. So peekaboo allows you to actually get down and dirty and have your fun without actually taking anything off. Now you may be thinking, Whoo, wow, this lingerie thing. Am I a lingerie person? There's different types of lingerie for every single different type of person. If peekaboo is something that's a little too courageous for you, then you can try all the other different types too. Number four is different types of fabrics and materials. The nice thing about lingerie, it has no function. It is just about having fun. It is not about support. It is about seduction. So try and look for different types of fabrics and materials. Try your leathers, have something with mesh, have your pom-poms, have your feathers, have zips on it. You wouldn't usually wear that underneath your work clothing and go to the office. But you can wear that if you're bringing Bali to the bedroom. If you're bringing that vixen to the bedroom, have something with a zip on it, a bodysuit that's just got one zip that runs right down the middle. Why? Because it's fun. That's the beauty of lingerie, is that you can have all these different types of fabrics and materials that wouldn't work for normal everyday underwear, but it works perfectly for lingerie. How about some chains on your underwear? How about a few pieces of feathers, some pom-poms? All of those things, all of those nice little extras, just make it interesting. And it makes it fun because you wouldn't wear that, you wouldn't wear that naturally, but you would wear it in the bedroom for your man. And finally, number five, unlined and see-through. If you really don't know what to do and you're thinking to yourself, you know what, all of these things are a bit too risky for me. Let me start off nice and light. Just look for things that look like underwear, but they're just unlined and they see through. So you can have your lace underwear. Usually when you have your lace underwear, you would have some padding underneath the lace and you had some lining in the panties, right? But when it comes to lingerie, ain't nobody care about lining, ain't nobody care about that padding underneath. That serves no function when it comes to lingerie. That makes it less fun. So look for the same things that you would wear in your bras and your panties, just something that doesn't have the lining and something that is see-through. That's a good place to start, a place where you are comfortable. I really like bralettes in this. So something that is a bra that ends a little lower, that has an extra piece of lace. And on the top, again, no padding, no underwiring. It's just a nice light piece of underwear that goes right on top that serves as lingerie you know that bra that bralette that's got the straps it's got a little bit of lace that just covers up the right places works really well and it's a good place to start the same with your with your panties get your panties that has no lining you'll look at it and think how why panty a hyena lining it's because that panty is supposed to come off have you ever seen you've gone and you're trying to look for underwear and then you look for this pair of panties right it goes at the bottom and you look at it and you realize that but there's a hole at the bottom of this thing that's lingerie that's the lingerie section of things okay so anything that's unlined anything that is see-through those can then move into the lingerie side of things and you can use those as well look the whole point of buying lingerie is not necessarily about dressing up as a person you wouldn't dress up as it is about taking that extra time and that effort to create the sexy environment to have some fun with your man and you can make that happen by investing some time and some money into doing that lingerie pieces the more fun they are the more unnecessary they are the more seductive they are the more special they become because they are only reserved for the bedroom look i'm part of those shy girls where if i buy something i'm scared that my man won't find it as sexy as i think it is or maybe he might find it boring even though i'm thinking i'm being risque talk to your man about it and say listen i want to try something new and i bought it I hope you enjoy it or be nice to me tonight. I'm going to wear something that I find sexy. 
get your man into it maybe you guys can shop for something together it is really fun i've heard of couples where the man is the one that goes and shops for the lingerie for his wife can you imagine he comes back with it and then you're just there saying oh i wonder what he got for me look it's a whole lot of fun and it is something different if you've never tried it before and you feel as though things are getting a little stale listen you guys could be doing missionary from january until december but if you're changing up the lingerie it makes the foreplay fun and it starts to add that spice in the bedroom so go ahead invest that extra time and that extra money into spicing things up just a little bit in the bedroom support your inner vixen and get her some new uniform that she likes to wear and have fun with the more interesting it is the more fun you get to have and build up to the main event now i hope that you guys enjoyed this one this was a fashion friday that is not meant for the little girls and the little kitties if you watched you've been a bad bad girl but i hope that you guys enjoyed this one and i hope that you'll be using it to spice up your relationship comment down below and let me know which one stood out for you what type of lingerie do you like do you like your body suits do you like your nice lingerie that has a lot of straps are you the bra lit and see-through panties type of girl do you like to cover up with a see-through throw over or wrap or gown over your lingerie do with it what you will and have fun with it that's the point that is it for today i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things Psst. come here come here come here i've got something interesting to tell you did you know that club she is influencer blueprint is about to reopen all you have to do is head over to my website and say that you want to become an influencer. I'll take you to my course, the Club She Is Influencer Blueprint Supercharged course that has created many influencers, has helped women to build brands and businesses as coaches, consultants, authors, writers, columnists, as well as brand ambassadors. If you dream of becoming that, then head over to my website, gopanashmange.com, and say that you want to become an influencer. I'll send you all the details that you need to find out to join the club and to get the course. See you then.